What's good, Matt family? In today's video, we're looking at how to identify and factor perfect square trinomials. Starting this video out, we have to get familiar with this format for quadratic equations. Because when we factor perfect square trinomials, it's going to take the form a plus b squared or a minus b squared. Just remember, perfect square trinomials are the same exact binomial multiplied by itself. So in my first example, when we look at x squared plus 10x plus 25, if we regularly, multi, uh, not multiply, but factor this, we know we're looking for a factor that multiplies to give us 25, add to gives us 10. And we'll use x plus 5 times x plus 5, and we would have our two factors and realize this is a perfect square trinomial. But let's say we use this as a way, this expression as a way to help guide us. So what we could do, and I'm going to stay in green, is we'll look at it and say, okay, we know the square root of x squared is just x, right? And then when we look at 25, I'm sorry, we know that is the same thing as just 5 squared. Then now when we look at this middle part, right, this is the most important. So we look here and we're saying to ourselves, all right, 2 times AB, which is 2 times X times 5. And we notice that this is a perfect square trinomial because it fits this format. And then now to write the factors, we'll just take A and B, which is X plus 5, right? Put in parentheses and we'll square it to get our perfect square trinomial factor. Now that we understand that, Let's go into some examples in this video. In the first example, right, we follow this format. We know square root of x squared is just x. Square root of 16, right? We could just write that as 4 squared. And then once we look in the middle, we know what? This is 2 times ab, which is 2 times x times 4. And when we look at this, this is going to give us that 8x in the middle. Now, when we factor it, just be mindful of the sign. So this is going to be x minus 4 squared as a final answer. If you want to double check this, just write it out and you could FOIL. So we're saying x minus 4 times x minus 4. This is a way just to double check. So x times x gives us x squared. x times negative 4 is negative 4x. Now we go to 4 and distribute. Negative 4 times x is negative 4x again. And negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. When we combine our like terms in the middle, that will give us that trinomial. So we know we factored correctly. And like I said, that is our perfect square trinomial factor, x minus 4 squared. Now in the second example, please don't try to hide these because some of them may be tricky. In most situations, we're used to C being larger than B. Right, when we look at the format ax squared plus bx plus c, or we could just say that normally that c term is larger than the, the middle term. And if you look at it like that, you could get this wrong. So just follow this format here to make it easy and to basically improve your chance of getting it right. So we know square root of x squared is just x, right? Square root of 4, write that as 2 squared. And then in the middle, Right, we have two times a b, which is x and two. So when we look at this, this turns into x squared. Two times x times two gives me four x. Put the negative sign, and then here two squared gives me four. So we know we have the same exact trinomial. Now when we write its factor, it's just x minus two squared and this is what will give us this perfect square trinomial now in the third example they're going to try to trick you by giving you a lead coefficient so what we would do right we could go ahead and multiply four by nine and use the ac method to factor but i would tell you guys don't if they're just asking you if it's a perfect square trinomial don't use that method what we could do is just look at it with the same relationship. So we know what? We know the square root of 4x squared is just 2x. Square root of 4 is 2. Square root of x squared is x. Right? 
Then we look at our nine. Square root of nine, we could write that as three squared. Now when I look at my AB, right, think about it. We're gonna have what? Two times two X times three. So what we're looking at is two times two X, which is four X. 4x times 3 gives us 12x. So we already factored it, and we know it's a perfect square trinomial because it fits the format, right? So now once we write it, we focus on a, b, and we know what? 2 times x plus 3, right? We square that. We know that's going to give us that perfect square trinomial. And with that, we're going to move to the last part of this video where we identify how to actually write the perfect square trinomial given a and b. Last part of this video, and if you find it helpful, Math Family, just smash the like button for us or comment down below. So now they're asking us to basically create or fill in the C term to make this a perfect square trinomial. And there's two things we need to remember. B divided by 2 is one of them. And the second one is B divided by 2 squared. Why are these important? One, to find C, we're going to use this. And then after we do that, to find the binomial that we would square to get the trinomial, we'll do this. And I'm going to show you what I mean. So half of 14 is 7. 7 squared is 49. So this perfect square trinomial is x squared plus 14x plus 49. Now if I want to factor it and figure out what exactly is the binomial that gets me that, I'll just take b divided by 2. So I know that's 7. So x plus 7 squared is what will give me this perfect square trinomial. And we don't have to, but you can see if it follows that format of a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. But remember, we, we, we kind of already did that but by dividing by 2. We just worked backwards. So if we look at this trinomial and look at the, the format, right, we know x squared is just x. 49b squared is just 7 squared. And then when we look at that middle term, 14x, it does follow the format of 2 times a, which is x, times b, which is 7. That will give us that 14x. All right? Problem 2, same exact thing, but just remember there is a negative sign in, the, in, 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 in front of b. I'm sorry, y'all. So we have to make sure we take that into account when we write the binomial. So half of 18 is 9, 9 squared is 81. So this turns into x squared minus 18x plus 81. If I want to know the binomial that will give me this trinomial, just take half of b. So x minus 9 squared is going to be the binomial that gives me the perfect square trinomial. And in our last problem of the day, right, very simple, same exact steps. Half of 20 is 10, 10 squared is 100. So this is x squared minus 20x plus 100. This is our perfect square trinomial. If I want to know the binomial that gave me that perfect square trinomial, we're going to take b and just divide by 2. So now we have x and half of 20 is 10. Close our parentheses, put our exponent, and we know x minus 10 squared is what's going to give us this trinomial. Really hope this video on how to identify and solve perfect square trinomials was helpful for you, math family. If it was, smash the like button for us. Subscribe to the channel and leave comments down below if you had questions on this video or if there's topics you'd like to see on our channel in the future. Thank you guys so much for continuing to watch Algebra 1 with Mr. Peters.